Who is your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? Hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? It's your boy here, Ray Morris, owner of Pitmaster Tremendous Q. And today I am back with another interesting video for you guys, all right? We have another exotic meat, all right? So today I am cooking up a steak, but not just any steak. It is a horse steak. A horse steak. Yeehaw. So before I jump into it, you know I gotta thank everybody for stopping by. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, cut on those notifications so you can get notified when I drop all my latest content, all right? And for all my returning subscribers, you know I appreciate you guys' support. So today I'm cooking up a horse steak. I'm gonna be reverse searing it. This is my first time cooking a horse steak. So you guys are gonna try it right along with me. We're gonna be reverse searing a horse steak and seeing how it turns out, all right? Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's see how this thing had, handles itself and me for the first time. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to stick around until the end so that you guys can hear firsthand what the kids think of this Chevelle. That's French for horse. <laughs> horse steak. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the package. And as you can see, this thing is actually pretty well marbled. Of all the cuts that I saw in the store, this one had the best marbling. Right, the texture, it feels a little bit like camel i think is the is the best way to say it um not necessarily a true beef steak but you see i had pretty good marbling um so that means that the way i'm gonna cook this is pretty much similar to how i would do a normal steak i hit it with a little salt and pepper and then throw it on the grill for a reverse sear right the wood that i'm gonna be using is some tabasco wood chips uh, these have a pretty interesting flavor it's not super strong which is why i actually decided to go with it because i really wanted to see the the flavor of the steak shine through okay so now that the wood chips are smoking they've been on for about five ten minutes it takes a little time for those to actually get uh get this smoldering especially when you're using those wet chips uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw our horse steak on here's a good close-up shot of it now for this reverse sear we're looking to take the internal temperature to about 130 degrees uh that way, when I put it on and sear it off at the very end, it end up being about well, uh, I'm not well, about medium to medium well, okay? The horse steak, I know typically you, you eat steaks closer to, to medium rarely, so I personally prefer them that way. Um, but I want the kids to try this, so I'll, I don't know how strong their stomachs are, so I wanna make sure that this thing is, is done pretty good for them, all right? So we are now 15 minutes into this smoke, all right? You can see we got some really good color on this thing. The edges are starting to turn that nice mahogany color, all right? And uh, this is, it's, it's almost done, all right? We're gonna go ahead and close the lid and uh, let it go a little bit longer. We are now 25 minutes in, and we got 127, 138, 137. So let's go ahead and get this thing head uh, over to the other side of the gr grill so we can sear it off. You can see the bottom side of it, the, the back of it, got that nice, it's a beautiful mahogany color. And that's what happens when you, when you're grill, uh, I'm sorry, reverse searing a steak, right? So we got the lid all the way off because we want our coals as hot as possible so i want as much oxygen getting into those coals as possible so we can get a nice sear on both sides of this horse steak all right so here's a close-up of it you can see we got that nice checkered grill marks from the grate from when we seared it on this side and now we're searing it off on the other as well and then this steak is going to be pretty much done all right what do you guys think that nice beautiful mahogany color now I did, I have had horse steak before, okay? I've never cooked it myself, but I have had it before. I actually had it on a TDY to Tajikistan a little over five years ago. I saw it on the menu and I was like, well, why not? <laughs> um, let's give it a try. So now this is my first time cooking it and let's go ahead and see how this thing turns out. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, I am gonna let the kids try it as I alluded to a little bit earlier in the video, but uh, you guys stick around so that you can get their true reaction because I didn't tell them what it was that I was cooking, right? I did not tell them what it was I was that they were they were eating. I just said that it was steak. I didn't I neglected to mention that it was a horse steak. <laughs> so daddy's gonna be playing a little trick on the kids. 
through. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing cut up. I'm going to give it a taste test and we'll turn it over to the kids. All right. Hey, if you've made it this far in the video, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and cut on those notifications so we can check out more content together here on the channel. All right. And with that, I'm actually going to stop talking and turn it over to the midgets. And we're going to see how they like it here to wrap up the video. All right. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Let's see what the kids think. You go first. You and a you do too, son. <laughs> Can I have that last piece? Which one of y'all liked it? Kinsley, you liked it. Katie, you did not. Y'all know what kind of steak it is? You want me to tell you? Yeah. Come stand right here. Uh oh. I'm feeling something bad is about to happen. What are you about to show us? Was it face? Y'all ready? Yes. yes. Better not be tongue. This is the kind of steak it is. Horse? Ew! Ew, no wonder it tasted Ew. like that. <laughs> <laughs> And tremendous cue strikes again. Pitmaster out. <laughs>